Brant Snedeker has used what many have called a unique or interesting or different golf swing in winning gobs and gobs of money on the PGA Tour already this season in 2013. And I thought it would be interesting to take a look at how well Brant achieves each of the Pure Strike five simple keys. I'm going to draw some lines here for key number one uh, because the camera moves, so it's a little tough to see. But I've drawn this line connecting these parts of his shoes so we can kind of see how well the camera moves. And then I'm going to draw a line up the middle of his body or up the middle of his feet. Key number one is a relatively steady head, which means your head does not move around excessively or a whole lot on the backswing or downswing, as that would cause some chaos and make it more difficult to strike the golf ball solidly. As we can see, the camera's moving already, but as I take it back, Brant's head is not moving to or fro or up or down or any direction really very much at all. It's moving a little bit. Again, a lot of that motion is rotation, because like many PGA Tour players, he turns his shoulders well past 90 degrees. During the downswing, you're going to start to see his head move forward slightly, although again, some of that is the camera moving. And coming into impact, his head has remained relatively steady throughout the entire swing. Key number two is weight forward. And I'll back this up to address. What you'll see at address is that Brant's weight favors his right side slightly. It will continue to favor the right side of his body slightly during the backswing. During the downswing you're going to start to see his hips move forward. And I'll redraw that line because again the camera moves. But here he is at impact. If I draw a line roughly up the middle of his body, you'll see not only is his weight favoring the front side, key number two is weight forward or pressure forward at impact. Uh, weight forward is kind of the uh, simpler way of looking at things. Uh, but in reality, both will be forward at impact, weight and pressure. And Grant Brandt is achieving this, as you can see, with both weight and pressure forward at impact. Key number three is flat left wrist, and really that's about maintaining the or not reaching the inline condition of the shaft and the lead arm, uh, or in someone like Lee Westwood's case, the proxy for the, the lead arm since his elbow bends, which is fine. Uh, and as we can see here, Brandt has a shaft here with the lead arm right there, right? Still some angle on this side prior to impact. Now it's coming out very, very quickly. Nobody, almost no PGA Tour player hits a single shot during a, any tournament where that flying wedge is maintained through impact. Almost all of them are throwing the club slightly, but they're timing it well enough that it's not passing prior to impact, and that is key number three, flat left wrist in the pure strike five simple keys. Key number four is diagonal sweet spot path, and that simply means that golfers are not swinging too much along the floor of a house, nor are they swinging too much down the roof of a house. The poor golfer that swings over the top is going to look a lot more like this, with the club head coming out here, coming down, right, hitting the golf ball, and then exiting stage left very quickly. As you can imagine, Brand Sandiker is not going to do that. His club face, club head, the sweet spot is going to travel down a diagonal sweet spot path into the golf ball, regardless of whether he's playing a draw or a fade at the time. Key number five, finally, is club face control. Simply put, Brant Sandiker <laughs> clearly achieved key number five this week as he hit the ball close on many occasions found the fairway on many occasions, hit a lot of greens, hit it close, controlled his ball flight. Key number five is controlling the club face relative to key number four, relative to the chosen sweet spot path to produce a playable shot that finishes towards the target. Uh, it's understanding the ball flight laws and what causes the ball to do what it does, as well as doing things like having a grip that allows you to return the club face to the position you need it to be in, given your sweet spot path to produce the shot you wish to hit. So Brant Snedeker clearly achieved key number five all week at Pebble Beach.
Thanks for this quick look at Brant Seneker achieving all of the Pure Strike Five Simple Keys. We won't be doing this every week, but I thought it was instructive this week to do it because much was made of how unique Brant Seneker's swing is. Thank you.